Good afternoon, everyone. It is Thursday, the 21st of May. And good news again overnight, no new cases, which is fantastic news. On top of the great news that we are getting all our students back from Monday of next week. So very much looking forward to that. The good news about having no new cases overnight is also enhanced by the fact that we are now down to just 12 active cases in Queensland. Look, again, I need to stress to you the importance of uh, being cautious and uh, making sure that we wait for the time intervals before uh, lifting further restrictions. Basically, the government is saying three to four weeks uh, is a decision-making period, and that's two quarantine cycles. So you're all aware by now, I guess, that you know, it's 14 days of quarantine. And so if we want to make sure that things are progressing and tracking well, we need to wait for two of those cycles. So that's why sometimes the government says, look, we can't make an announcement yet. We have to wait for further information. And that's pretty much the thinking behind that. I know we're all keen and very much excited and wanting and almost desperate to get things back, but we still need to be cautious. And like I said, we wouldn't be in this position had the right decision not been made to date. So I think in Queensland, we're very lucky that way. The important thing I want to talk about today is attendance, because with all students coming back to school next week, I know they've done home learning, uh, but different students have obviously done different amounts of work during that time and have different levels of understanding and require different levels of support. So look, it's really important that the kids get to school every day. And because of some of the changes in how the school is operating, we really need to make sure that people get here on time. So just so that you're aware, school and classrooms open at 8.20. The gate will be closed from 8.30. So it's very important that people get to school on time in the morning. Like I said in my update, and I've also provided in a little pamphlet that I've sent home today, is that we have less office staff. The adults in the school are more spread out through the school to make sure that we keep as much of the social distancing as we can amongst the adults. It also means that some of the things that we do take a little bit longer, so I would ask for your patience there. So one of the things that we have changed is a buzzer and video for you if you do happen to come to the school between the hours of 8.30 and 2.30 during the day. So if you arrive at school and the gate is closed, you just need to press this buzzer here and it will ring us in the office and then someone will speak to you through the intercom system and then as soon as someone's available someone will come out and meet you at the gate to either uh, let you in or if you are here to pick up one of your children for an appointment that will bring them to the gate. So as much as possible we will be limiting the number of adults in the school grounds. So I would really like it if you could uh, call the school before you come. So if you have an appointment or you are wanting to pick your child up for a particular reason or you're needing to come and drop off lunch or something like that, can you call first because I don't want you being disappointed or frustrated because you're standing out here waiting for some time, which may happen from time to time if, we, if the office is really busy or as sometimes is the case now, we just have one person there and have to call someone to come over to replace them before someone can come out to the front. So just be aware, use the buzzer when you arrive at the school. And most importantly, I think it's about attendance at school. Every day counts and in fact, every minute counts. If you add them all up, the amount of learning time that is lost by students not being in class has a major impact on their future learning. So you can just keep those things in mind for next week and I'll be back with another update tomorrow.